Nam yo honing get on, 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 nam yo honing get on. Hi, I'm Margaret, and this is the channel where we take Buddhist philosophy and practice and apply it to the issues of everyday life. We all experience dark times in our lives. This is when something difficult or devastating happens. Maybe you've had a bad diagnosis or lost a spouse or family member or friend, have lost a job, experienced a betrayal, or as so many of us, living through global threats such as the pandemic or climate change when all institutions do not appear to be working and our safety and security feel threatened. Whatever it is, it's certainly not something you would have wanted to have happen. But it is our curriculum. I believe that the mystic law is at the center of everything that's happening. As Daisaku Akeja says, quote, in the innermost depths of all beings, there's the primal life force and it causes living beings to live. The same force supports in and organizes matter and works it into the harmonies and rhythms of the great cosmic existence. This is the active force necessary for all life, the force that creates and recreates all existence, spiritual and physical. In other words, the mystic law is the infinite intelligence that's behind all evolution. And during this dark night, I believe this evolutionary force is preparing the way for an evolutionary jump, that something greater is seeking to emerge through us, both individually and collectively. We have to look at what's going on square in the face. I believe we're being asked to evolve as a race. The, intu intuition, the institutions which have worked for us until now no longer seem to have the answers that once seemed to serve us. For example, our economic system, the requirements of capitalism itself to make a profit, the promotion of consumerism, are now contributing to the major problems we're facing with climate change. We're being challenged to look beyond the goals of making money and acquiring power and our own comfort and convenience to implement what's needed for the common good and the very survival of humankind. This is going to require major changes and sacrifices, but if we don't do it, we're in the position of lemmings getting ready to go over a cliff. Old institutions die hard. Right now, we stand squarely between the old and the new. The old beliefs and institutions are fighting to survive while the new way is just not clearly seen yet. It's an ugly time. We're being faced with what's not been working, what's been hidden from sight, but is now showing up to be seen, evaluated and modified. We're being shown the dark side of our human nature and being asked to grow beyond that. Change is gonna be required and we're seeing the fear of change and the stonewalling. We're looking for answers, but our old beliefs and our dependence on our rational left brain are no longer sufficient to deal with the incredible complexity of what we're facing. I think we're being asked to understand that we are more than any circumstance coming at us, that what is inside of us, that infinite intelligence is greater than anything we're facing. And we're being asked to learn how to partner with that intelligence which has the answers to anything we need to know. We must learn to trust that this evolutionary force is working for the good. And if we partner with it, we will move along with it. If we fight it and resist the flow, things are going to become very difficult. We're being challenged to grow out of our old ways of being. For example, we're being faced with our disregard of human rights on many fronts from some people being subjected to tyranny and oppression, to people not having health care or sufficient food or housing or the right to live in a humane way. We're seeing the failure of our institutions which should be supporting the people of this country as we go for this, through this very difficult time. Instead, there's a disregard for the needs of the people and we're about to have a tidal wave of the dispossessed while others are obscenely rich. This is a failure of our way of life, as is the underlying racism in this country, which I think is born of fear of change and of old beliefs. We're seeing that the community and unity we used to have as a nation 
is deeply fractured. We're seeing that people's personal wishes are taking precedence over the common good. Just in wearing masks, for example, or insisting on travel, getting into planes where no social distancing is possible. Big Thanksgiving dinners, not taking the vaccine. All of these are individuals putting their private wishes over the common good. We're seeing that individualism has overridden the needs of the community and a rebalancing is going to be necessary to deal with climate change, for example. Otherwise, we're going to be dealing with chaos. The dark night of the soul is where what is seeking to emerge is trying to break free of the old ways of being, old ego states, because for the greater to emerge, we must let go of the lesser. As Buddhists, we are so fortunate to have our connection with the mystic law. As we chant day after day, we can keep our lives in sync with the evolutionary flow. And when life becomes tumultuous, we can stand on the rock of the mystic law and not be swayed by events outside of us. When we chant about what's happening, we can use that inner wisdom to understand what's being asked of us. And remember what Nietzsche says, when great evil occurs, great good follows. That's from the writings of Nietzsche and I showed on page 100 and 1019. Better times are coming. In summary, we're in the middle of a dark time or being asked to evolve as a race. And I believe the mystic law is behind all evolution and is asking us to look at the fact that our old ways of being are not working. We're being shown the dark side of our nature, our disregard of human rights, that individualism is taking precedence over community. But as Buddhists, we're fortunate to have the rock of the mystic law to stand on through these tumultuous times. Our dependence on our rational left brain is no longer sufficient to deal with the complexities of what we have to deal with. And we're so fortunate to have nam myoho renge -kyo. If you like this video, please share it with people who might be interested. There's a little button down at the bottom. And keep your comments coming. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you the first Thursday of January.